Welcome back, pool fans. Up next we have Taylor Hansen versus Cassie Francois. This is a B-side match. This match is for fifth. Yes, loser uh, loser this match will get fifth, sixth, and what does that pay, $1,000? $1, $1, $1,000. bucks. Loser this match gets 1000 bucks. Winner moves on. Yep. And looks like Cassie wins the lag. Hey, how's that for a lag? No, that's, uh, that's, that's Taylor. Taylor. Mm -hmm. that's I was looking at the names under the, under them. I was mentally associating the name with the person right above it. No. Ah. So Taylor wins lag, table racking. And Taylor comes to us from Mankato, Minnesota. She is sponsored by Cato Q Club, OB, Kamui, and Hustlin. Her home pool room is Cato Q Club. Her Q stick maker is OB. She's been playing since the age of nine. She's now 17. Uh, titles, accomplishments, U.S. Bar Table Champion Women's 10 Ball, 2015 BCA National Women's Open 9 Ball Champ, VNEA Junior Nationals, Singles Champion, North Star Ladies Pool Tour, Stop 1, 2, and 5 Champ, Atlantic Cup Challenge Team Member, on and on. BCA Platinum Women's 8 Ball Singles Champ 216 and the uh, doubles champ with her brother. Yeah, we need to give her a second uh, page to, to write on. She was running out of room on this one. Yeah. <laughs> and her opponent is Cassie Francois, coming to us from Bothell, Washington. In the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Pacific home, home. Um, she plays out of the Golden Fleece in Seattle. She is sponsored by Hustlin USA. Cassie plays with a McDermott Q and has been playing pool since 2006. Uh, accomplishments is she's a U.S. Amateur Championship finalist 2015 and 2014 BCA National Singles. She's placed as high as fifth place down there. She also has a couple of regional titles for the Pacific Northwest at the uh, Western BCA tournaments. All right, a little safety here by Taylor to start the match, and I think she's let that leak out. I think she has a window through here. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a window. Yeah, she can pop this ball out of there, and uh, can she couple rails it out of there and play safe, or is it the uh, angle I to bank it straight? <laughs> I don't know if she can see enough of the one to hit it full enough to stick it there. So it's just going to thin off it, then keep all around, get past that 10, mm -hmm. past the 8. Uh, That's pretty good. That's a good shot. There's no window there. I guess I uh, should. All right, Taylor's looking at kicking at this one rail, trying to kick the one past the three five, trying to leave the cue ball on this side of it, trying to kick safe. She won't be hitting this hard. And she's hit that beautifully. Nice shot, Taylor. Very nice. The only thing you could hope for is for it to roll, you know, be snugged up in the back of the five. It's the only thing better you could hope for there, I think. Guess gonna shoot at this rail first, trying to make the one in that upper right corner. I think that's what she called. Yeah, she just called the one in the upper right corner, trying to make this rail first. With the six being there, that does help a little. Oh, she's missed the one ball. It's going to give Taylor ball in hand. This is a pretty nice open layout now. 
Oh, you turned the other camera. I was like, wait a minute, what am I looking at? <laughs> Taylor just missed, uh, has to make sure she gets on the correct side of this three ball so she can drift over for the five. So yeah, she she's going to she's gonna come well cross table. Yeah, she definitely doesn't want to be trying to shoot that three ten combination. Or Is she going forward to maybe play it into the side or is she come bouncing out? Yeah, that's not far enough. No. She's on the wrong side of this three. Well, if she goes forward, can she brush off the inside of the ten? to push the cue ball going back towards the five here? Possibly. Uh, she's looking to see how much of it and where she's going to catch the ten ball. She's going to catch it. Looks like she's going to catch it pretty full. Like mm -hmm. She's going to be sending that ten like towards that corner, it looks like. Yeah. But she can only call one. She can't call both, so she has to choose three or the ten. Uh, well she's got it uh, yeah, coming into the back of the five because it hit it so full. Well, it hasn't left anything, anything too juicy for Cassie. Cassie does have a nice little opportunity for safe, depending on which way she wants to shoot it. Mm -hmm. Looks like she can do probably about a half ball hit on the left side of the three, cue ball to the rail, and then down behind this six ball, banking the eight, uh, uh, banking the three towards the eight. She may come off the other side of the three also, if she likes that better. Oh, she's trying to get behind the ten. That's she got there. That's good speed. Yep. Yeah, she's behind there. All right, Taylor's called that three up in the up in the corner, I believe. Okay, she, yeah, she's still going for the corner. Nice hit. It's going in that direction, but it's not going to go in the pocket. to the table and has a pretty nice looking layout here. The three to the five to the six are all looking pretty good. That eight uh, doesn't go past the nine. She has a eight nine combination. Uh oh. No, That's sure. not a good way to start. Just rattle it out of there. Trying to come back and forth for the five. This is the first game. First game. So Taylor, she could try to draw above this five, or she may just float down for short side on the five. Just coming down short side, and she's missed it. Mm -hmm. First game jitters. Playing on that tighter table with the cameras. Everybody's watching. It'll settle in in a minute. And Cassie's faced with her really either super tough cut or a tough yeah. safe, and so with that, you just go the offensive. Yeah, she's going with the cut to the side. Oh, uh, just missed. It's going to roll down here, the one laying on the end. It, did, it bounced off the rail a little bit. Yep, and Taylor has just a little bit of angle on this, so she can follow forward to the rail and back down towards the five. So she's sitting pretty, you know, the angle's pretty good, it's just, you know, a lot of distance. Stay with it, stroke through it. Mm 
Oh, maybe she was a little bit straighter on that than I thought. Didn't want to try to roll to the end rail. Yeah, just float down. Yeah, I'll shoot. Look out, there's just, oh man. Oh, I'm watching, I'm, you, this is really confusing me with that other screen. Mm. I don't think I've seen Taylor miss this much all tournament. As she has mm. in this first game. This is uncharacteristic. Yeah, it was, um, she had a couple that with, you know, when the adrenaline was flowing, the uh, match against uh, Janet, but that was it. And that was, you know, any kind of controversy regardless of anything. It makes the adrenaline pump and the heart race. And mm, all right, Cassie. All right. Then cut to the six. Uh, it's going to naturally bring the cue ball table, so she might be able to just play position for the eight. In the side or even in this bottom corner. Short if side. She, if she doesn't like uh, the 8 9 combination. Mm, she needs that ball to get. This isn't really where she wanted to be. So I think she's going to play safe here. Probably just. Bank the eight ball to the end rail, you know, hitting the eight kind of thin. Bank the eight thin rail, cue ball down towards this end of the table. Yeah. I don't think she's going to go for a bank shot here or a billiard on the nine or anything like that. I think she's just going to play safe. Eight up to the end rail is my prediction. She went, went for, for it. it. Oh, and almost made it. See, I told you she's going to play safe. Eight, eight on the end rail. Yeah. She just went, went about it a different way. Yeah. See, you didn't see that safe, the playing it like that. <coughs> so Taylor's either got a triple tough cut, tough bank, or a tough safe. No, I like thinning off the right side of the eight because even if the eight ends up over there by the pocket it's the nine's gonna be blocking and cue ball two rails around trying to get under the ten mm -hmm. yeah at least you end i mean if and actually call the ten on this in case you accidentally you know bump the ten in with the cue ball <laughs> and at worst you, she has a combination the length of the table no, that's not what she's shooting she's shooting something else Going for the bank shot, straight down. Or does she call the nine? She may have called that billiard because it went straight at it. She did call something, and she's not walking away from the table, so. Well, that eight ball cooperated nicely. Came right back around for a shot. Yes, it did. Uh, we're down to six players now here. That one's in there. Crushed the rail, but made it in. Yeah. Found darkness. That's really the biggest part there. Doesn't matter how I found it. Straight in and got straight in for the 10 ball for the first game. All right, enough. A little bit of a rough start to uh, that game, but Taylor managed to close out that game. And this is Cassie's first pro event. And she's made it through the A side to uh, to to In the final day. Made the A side till to to fifth six and then lost to um, Tara Williams to 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 Tara Williams, yes. Defeating Naomi Williams last night. Yeah. And she also beat Sarah Rousey yesterday. And as her, how else she play? 
Connie O'Haran. So not bad. Not bad for a first tournament. Oh, rep representing Hustlin, that's for sure. And so is uh, Taylor over here representing Hustlin. And I think uh, I think Miss Larson is a uh, Hustlin sponsor e. Switch over to this other table while they figure out this rack. <coughs> it's Bonnie at the table now, playing Naomi Williams. Uh, and uh, Bonnie won the first game. Won nothing. Uh, ultimate team gear. Okay. Hey. Wow, nice shot there by Bonnie. Uh, uh, Cassie's right. set to break. Back to our feature match. Cassie to break. Solid break. Three ball did keep the cue ball out of the side pocket. She's not made a ball, but uh, we're going to be seeing a push shot here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's going to kick at this. Okay, just pushing out to about the end rail. Yeah, I think Kathy. I think Cassie is uh, going to take this. Going to bank the one back up table, try to get that cue ball over behind the nine, perhaps. I think I think that's available to her. I think she can get the cue ball past the nine without without running into it. And that's what she's attempting. She got the cue ball back there, but didn't really get the one ball out of there. So Taylor's gonna play a safe back on her here. Yeah, I'm probably going to be on the back side of the five ball here or in between the five, six. Okay, that's, the, uh, that's the three over there by the six. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think she's going to get on the back side. Is she going to get a rail? Oh, that one just touched the rail. <laughs> and I and think... she's just on the three. Oh, I can't see that. Wrong end of the table. All right. Well, Cassie, it looks like she may be shooting right at this one. Knock the one out a little. Get the cue ball behind the seven. She oh, didn't touch it. Just. But I see what she was trying there. She's trying mm -hmm. to just thin off it. Uh, cue ball past the seven. Brush off the four. Maybe go to the left or one ball just kind of bounce a little bit behind the seven. Cue ball down this way. This side of the seven. No. Nice, nice thinking, but just uh, and it, and just not touching anything it. is okay here too. Yeah, it's there's nothing easy. <laughs> this this is not an easy out. Enough uh, to even start with with ball in hand or because she might, of the she might play another safe here, try to get the cue ball on, on the back side of the seven, or she may be shooting it up in the corner. Uh, I like the uh, just popping it out of there and putting Wendy on the back of the seven. Looks like she's shooting the one up in the corner. She is. Just come out a little bit far for this. Yeah, I need to just I think she needed to stop just a couple inches sooner than yeah. she could. Uh, she's, you know, she does have a pretty good size window she can yeah, aim for. Yeah, between ten seven there. I was just seeing. You know, I was going to say that when she was walking around. So yeah, so down around this foot spot, she has a nice size window between the ten seven. And the four is right there below the seven. Uh -oh. uh, it's not going to get out there. She didn't think she was going to be able to hold it up, so she wanted to come out a couple of rails with it. And oh, the three is not frozen. It's off the rail. All right, okay. Taylor's just going to tie up some balls here. 
Make sure you don't line up a combination <laughs> when you do that, or else it's wasted. Yeah, don't don't leave it dead. So ideally what you'd like to do is you'd like to be able to play some type of safety on the three while also while also nudging this four ball away from the six somehow. That would be the ideal safety. Now how do you do that? Looks like she's just gonna thin off the three, key ball down here under this eight ball. That, uh, she's left the window, but that's okay because yeah, what's she gonna do with what left a lot of distance. Even if Taylor makes this three, all she has on the four is is, a, is another safety. And she's made the three. First part accomplished. And now safety on the four. Scratch. Stay up, lady. Is that, is that tight pocket cut that cue yeah. ball out? Yeah, it did. That looks like a pretty good safe. I don't think she can see the edge of this. Or if she can, it's a pretty thin. Yeah, well, that would be nice, but I don't know how you could get there. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe she was just looking like if I give her if I miss hit if I miss this and I give her a ball in hand, is she gonna have an easy combo? Maybe that's what she was just looking at. So yeah, you kick one rail up and down between the four six back at the four and you're gonna hit either the ten or the four, you're gonna move them apart. Maybe she's gonna shoot right into it right now and move them apart. That, oh, that's going to go and hang down here in the oh. corner. Oh, yeah. no. I was liking it. I was liking it until until that 10 ball ended up there. Yeah. Because Taylor has just, she won the last two games of her previous match by combinations on the 10, so she is not afraid to shoot a combination. Oh, yeah, and she was licking her lips. <laughs> she <laughs> walked it with the ball in hand, literally licking her lips. <laughs> or maybe she was eating something sweet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Almost tripping trying to get out of her chair f so fast. <laughs> and the five for good measure. Yep. Taylor takes a 2-0 lead. <clears throat> the back Kay. table over here. We have Naomi Bonnie. coming to the table. Yeah. Brian just walked away from the table there. Um, didn't see if it was a safety attempt or a missed ball. Oh. So yeah, Naomi was having a hard time last night, but she looks like she's really uh, starting to uh, put together some wrecks uh, today. Looks like she was playing pretty good. Yeah. Now everybody get a nice uh, view of the uh <coughs> of the trophy. The trophy. Yeah, you know, it's not just some little thing with layers and a person with a pool stick in their hand. <laughs> Everybody's got those. All right, she made a, made a nice shot on the eight. Now she's going to have to come with another nice shot on the nine. She's going to draw out uh, back to the rail uh, the rail and back out for it. Oh, she's yeah. doing the sliding around three rails. and Yeah, she's, uh, she's putting a stroke on these. Mm-hmm. She's called the bank. 
Taylor's breaking now on our main table. Mm, that looks like she has not pocketed a ball. Huh. Yeah, he missed it wide. And it, it rolled out. To sh Bonnie's got a shot, but it's not an easy, it's by no means an easy shot. <coughs> Meanwhile, on our main table, we have Cassie looking at a kick safe at this one ball here. She could roll out, but I think she would. I think she might kick safe this kick safe rather rather than rolling out. And that's if she can't see the edge of it. I think she might be able to see the edge. Oh, of if one. she can, then even better. <coughs> she's just called one cross corner, so I think she's kicking at it or cross side. Ended up almost straight in. That's not bad. Ooh, she has a little bit of angle, so she can follow forward. Meanwhile, on the other table, they're having a battle over this 10 ball. Yeah, they are. Are the uh, <coughs> all right? Good shot. She's she has a got, shot on the two. She's got a window well, where she can play safe. I think I like that. I, didn't, I, I said a shot, but I really mm -hmm. meant a look. Yeah, down to the final six players in this event. Just trying to get behind these balls, and it's is that going to leak? Out. Oh, that leak that did. These are both uh, B side matches, so the losers will be eliminated and sharing fifth place. Yes, uh, yeah. Both of these matches, uh, the loser ties for fifth and gets thousand bucks each. So now I think Cassie will. I should try to do kind of the same thing. That's what I was thinking, but Taylor, but she has something else in mind. Uh, yeah, I like trying to get behind that uh, that eight nine. Yeah, just drawing it a little bit. Yeah, a little spinach. Yeah, she's left Taylor pretty good on this. And the three's directly across from the two there, and the four's right next to it. Uh, that if yeah, four goes on the side. Yeah, she just needs to just draw back a few inches. Ooh, that was more than a few inches. And that's going to line up nice for Cassie. That's looking pretty good for Cassie. Just pretty juicy. And yeah, I think right now she needs something easy like this to kind of start with to get they get her going and they they both do get a few nice easy balls in let your arm loosen up and the the thought of where you are and what you're doing kind of goes away then you're just playing pool so the score is tied up on the one on the other table between naomi and bonnie oh no cassie yeah, just shot it a little bit wide Taylor comes back to the table with a nice shot to get started with. Good speed. Yeah. Uh, this is shoot and stop for the four. And now the main problem is the six ball getting from the five to the six because really she wants to be on that left side of the six for the six in the bottom right corner. Yeah, because it doesn't go past that nine, eight. Although she has proven to be quite adept at shooting combinations. And position from the five to the six, she may have to play position for that four combination. She might not be able to get the cue ball down on that side. Depends how she lands on the five. Are you saying she likes cheese? <laughs> she is. Well, she well she's, from, she's Minnesota, from Minnesota, not, not Wisconsin. Wisconsin. She's not a cheese head. She could still be a cheese head if she's a Packers fan. <coughs> but they have the Vikings. Just slide off of this for the five in the corner where she just walked by there. Yeah, she's going to want to be almost straight in on this five so she can draw back for the six ball. But that's going to be. That's, that's 
That requires some pretty precise speed to end up straight on this five to drift across. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. If you can draw straight back yeah. now. Brackets are at play and A P T Gary. That's play and national. <laughs> blah blah North American Pull Tour dot com. Play N A P T dot com. Bump right. off the rail. That's good speed. Yes it is. She's got angles. She can follow this out of here a couple of rails for the seven in the side. Yep, she has just enough angle to do that. No, two she ra doesn't. Two rails out to the middle of the table. And she'll want to go probably past the seven so she can come down for the eight so she doesn't have to run into the nine. Yeah, that would be optimal. And <coughs> she's going to end up having to go the other way now. She or can she go all the way around table yeah. with it. Yeah, she might go three rails around. She does have the stroke for it, you know, and the knowledge of the shot to do it. Oh, yeah. And that's what she's doing. Looks like she's going to go three rails around. And that Burt Ginnister book. Kind of slow down. Uh, Rut row, Raggy. There's a corner pocket down there. And a nine ball. Hmm. All right, so she's going to have to cut this eight in, and that cue ball is going to come cross table near that right side pocket for yeah. a long shot on the nine. I think she thought that the uh, cue ball was going to go to that side rail. That she was trying to come three rails short into the side rail. Yeah, it's when, when coming around three rails like that, uh, putting any left spin on it will lengthen it out like that and bring you closer to that corner. So she really just needed mm -hmm. center follow to come around. Would I think would have made it a little bit shorter. Well, she was fine. She could see it. Shoot it in, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, I knew she could see it. Roll this in, 10 in the same pocket, nice shot. Just a little bit of left spin on that to come up for the 10. And with that exciting out, that will move Taylor up another game, three to zero. <coughs> All right, and it is one to one back here with Naomi and Bonnie. With Naomi and Bonnie, one apiece. Bonnie's at the table now. Yeah. Uh, this is an invitational tournament, um, Attica. Atticus? This is Atticus. Um, this is a invitational tournament. These women um, have to have either played in like the inaugural tournament, um, have some kind of, uh, there's regional tours out there that they have to play in to qualify or from things that they've done in the past and their known ability in their area, they have to get an invite from the NAPT to be able to come. You don't just walk in and pay your money here. All right, back to our feature table while Bonnie continues to run those out on her table. Broke. I thought the one was going in the side and a couple of balls uh, just tapped it and slowed it down and, but also hasn't left Taylor a shot she can she play that one rail first into the side that's pretty tight coming in behind that eight ball and not hitting the eight on well, the way through if she could you know the rail you know, the cue was naturally going to go down for the two yeah but it's pretty tight between the it eight is, and the one it is tight to be able to come sharp enough off that rail to cut the one in the side. Mm -hmm. Now she's going to like to roll out down to the bottom rail. She'd like the cue ball to sit on the rail to limit where Cassie can cue at the ball. It's pretty close to it, but <coughs> not optimal. <laughs> it's a good, sh you know, nice speed.
Meanwhile, on the other table, Bonnie's really found her stroke. She's making some nice shots to run out this rack. That's what she did the other day. Just all of a sudden, she was awake, and she was oh, unstoppable. Oh, there she goes, and this is the easy straight in. There nine Kevin ball. goes, jinxing her and making her miss that easy nine ball. <coughs> Thank you, BCAPL. I was just getting ready to say that. Oh, that's uh, that's a foul. Uh, so smart, Cassie gave it back to her. So here, let's see what you had in mind. <laughs> and I think she was just trying to push that to the other side, you know, into the point and leave the cue ball on the rail there with it too. Right. Or even, you know, like rail first off of that point no. to <laughs> or something like that. Uh, yeah, she definitely was not wanting to make the one. So Cassie's got a uh, ball in hand, and I can't tell. She looks like she's trying to come backwards with this. Is, she, is it that much of the ball hidden from the eight? She doesn't want to go up under the three seven, apparently. And I get that, avoiding traffic. Yeah, and just and maybe she wants to uh, maybe she wants to come on this side so she can roll forward into the. Seven to for a shot on the three, or just actually, she can just come to the center yeah. of the table. She doesn't, she doesn't, need doesn't, have, to, she doesn't have to bump to seven. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit more to the left of center, yeah. kind of over by the nine. Four balls on the other side rail over here. <coughs> I gotta get my line drawing contraption ready, aka a telestrator. So you're saying she wants to follow up to cue ball around here somewhere, or just play safe? No, yeah, I think she was going for the safe, but yeah. <coughs> and now she's forced Taylor to play safe. And I think she can and see this. I think Cassie can come off the <laughs> side of the two and bring the cue ball down to this end of the table. Maybe even get behind this ten five six cluster. <coughs> and she's doing exactly that. That was really nice speed. That was a nice shot and she did not leave a window. No. And getting it up in there with the ten ball, um, it start you know, you're taking rails away. Yeah. Possibility you know, possibilities yeah. of well, she didn't take the sky away. She's uh, jumping this. And the airborne. Oh, she drilled, drilled it. it. Holy nice cow. shot. Wow. Wow, we. And because we're not doing our. Um, Kevin is slacking and has not once done the instant, what, instant replay, replay record there. <clears throat> I guess he can go and do it manually for y'all. You can rewind it yourself and see that shot again. Heck of a shot. Holy cow. Hey, don't miss that ball. Yeah. <laughs> don't miss that one after that. You know, and then that's another sign of a true player, somebody that can... Hey, you know what I smell? I smell some blue cheese. No, you don't. I do. I can smell it from all the way from over here. But uh, the sign of a, of a real is to follow up a nice shot, or if you're playing another game where ball... Where yeah, how many, how many times have you made a <laughs> nice shot to just blow the next easy shot? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and... Uh, or, you, you know, playing nine ball, you got lucky and slopped something in, and now you've got some seriously easy shot, and you dog it because you're worried, you know, you're thinking about how lucky you just got, you know. But, yeah, it takes a real player to come out and run out behind something like that. Ooh. All right. Ramil says, good morning, ladies. And the commentators, I think that's what that mm -hmm. means. <laughs> He's not calling you a lady. I didn't interpret it as <laughs> such. Good morning to you too, Ramil. A 
Now can Cassie kick to that left rail to kick the five in between the eight nine? Uh, it looks like she can. She's calling it the other way. It's easier to hit it going the way she is, but going the other way, you have a chance to make it. Yeah, it's pretty close to the hole. Or just play safe. Let's play safe again. I don't think it's safe. No, left row window. No. Window. <coughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Just roll us in, drift cross table. That's a no, nice no. shot. She almost over cheated that pocket. She cheated it to, to the max. max. Then rocked it to sleep. Yeah, perfect on the six. Do you try to spin out of the corner here to take the 10-9 uh, out of play in the side pocket? And I guess not Taylor doesn't. <coughs> yeah, this is this is okay, but if you go, yeah, you know, the only problem is you know going past past the straight end. You know you uh, you know the cue ball's got to come this way, and you're messing with all this 10-9 stuff. You know if the cue ball was up here, you could have shot the seven in the side and cue ball back up and down that way. There's a few different ways could go about it, but there's nothing wrong with mm -hmm. with that. She came around pretty good to get on the eight here, but she is uh, mostly straight in. She's going to have to draw this back and probably play the 10 in the um, side pocket, or the 9 in the side pocket on the right-hand side. Yeah, I believe so. So, yeah, draw back yeah. In to the side, and if she draws back a little bit too far, then uh, in the, corner. the 9 in the corner. Yeah, and this, I mean, she doesn't really have to, I was going to say, she doesn't have to hit it that hard to draw it back and, and she was happy to just it. She was just happy to just take the uh, the cut shot on the nine. And that tells you how she's feeling with her game, even though she rattled that ball. She's feeling, feeling really confident. Feeling confident she can make that cut on the yep. nine. <coughs> Pardon me. Seem to have an itchy throat today. So I think that eight ball's up on the rail. I think this is. Yeah, that eight ball looks like it's up on the rail. So no easy shot for Cassie. Nope. Um, yeah, she needs a few little easy things. Maybe she. Maybe she needs to make a few hard things. Build a, build yeah. a confidence? Yeah. You know, you think you want the easy stuff or this or that. Maybe she doesn't. I mean, she seemed to really do well under the pressure yesterday. All right, nice shot, but stay out of that side. Mm, it's not. Mm, some Then there's sometimes when it rains, it pours. Scores two to one in that other table. Do you know who that's in favor of? I do not. All right. With that scratch by okay. Cassie, that. Allows Taylor to extend her lead, four to nothing. <coughs> and Naomi's uh, getting ready to make a ten ball over here, so we'll be know who is who over there with that score. All right, Naomi fires that ten in. Yeah, she's whacking them into the hole today. And three that one puts Naomi. Naomi up three to one, Naomi. So Naomi's the red numbers. for it.
tuning in today. Yeah. You're watching the North American Pool Tour Summer 10 Ball Classic. Coming at you from Shooters, Sports Bar, and Billiards here in Grace Lake, Illinois. Right. Taylor for the break. Uh, this is a race to seven. It is a race to seven. A side <coughs> and B side. Yes. Final search, your double elimination. All right, Taylor's made a couple balls on the break, but no look at the one. And uh, is that the 6-3 down there that's that uh, kind of ugly? Yep, that would be the 6-3. And the 3 does not pass the, the 6 to the mm. pocket. Looks like Taylor's looking at uh, pushing out uh, just where the five is, but I actually like pushing out, breaking up to three six. Yeah, I do too. The only thing you're leaving is a really tough cut shot if you do. Yeah, I like I like pushing into the three six there. So, with where things are, the six three, and your Cassie down yeah. four nothing. You ride the ten. Do you ride the ten? Or do you stay steadfast and continue to try to play safe and to, you know? Well, it's, it's worked for her all up until this point. It's, you know, it's working for her, so, you know, don't change what's working. She's decided to. By up until this <coughs> point, I mean this whole tournament, but no. not, not necessarily this match. Yeah, she's decided to let Taylor shoot at this. Taylor may shoot the 10 ball, though. I don't think so. I think Taylor is definitely the one that's supposed to stay with what she's doing. You know, again, you, you don't let them breathe. You don't go for those things. You don't move all in every hand just because <laughs> you've got the guy out chipped 10 to 1 or 1,000 to 1, you know? <laughs> You'd want to keep doubling them up and doubling them up. Yeah, until the next thing you know, you're, you know, it's <laughs> the opposite. And these things turn quick. We saw it. We've got video proof. It turns when you when you don't do it or you try to play the hero and instead of playing the smart shot, the uh, higher percentage shot. And right. Cassie's staying right with that, too. She's playing safe while trying to break that out. Nice shot. I think she let but her see the one, one, but I don't uh, think uh, it's lined up, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it is. Hmm. So she can just come off the left side of the one, try to get the key ball behind the other ball, or the swikers, too. Nice shot. Yes. Works quite nicely. I can't tell if Cassie can see just the very edge of this ball. If she Doesn't can. Doesn't look like it. But if she could, yeah, she then off to bring the key ball back down and try, try to get behind the 10 again like she yeah. did a few shots ago. Mm-hmm. All right, looks like Cassie's going to... No, here kick comes Chris. Looks like Cassie's going to kick at this because they're calling for a referee. So ideally, Cassie would like to kick the one up table, maybe even, you know, call the one, call the one in the side, kick, try to kick the one up table, try to leave the cue ball down here, try to get some distance. Maybe yeah. get lucky, get that one ball <laughs> behind this nine four ten. And she's called it in the side. Good. That's a good hit. And she scratched. Oh, no. That has happened. Yeah, you know, just a couple of times too many. <laughs> for it to be, you know, for anybody. All she needs to do is just get back to the center of the table, cut the three in. Come down for the four. 
Yeah, she doesn't have to, she doesn't have to go all the way down the table for the three. Just center the table is all she needs. And this is perfect. And it's a nice shot. Just got angle to be able to come. She can spin a couple of rails right up that line to the four. Yeah, she could, you know, left spin to end rail, side rail, and then towards the four. Or she can use a little, just a hair of right English and just go one rail towards the four also. But kind of depends which side of straight in she wants to be in on the four. She wants to come low of straight in. Uh, Naomi, just uh, another she's game. Actually, she's got kind of a bad angle on this four to get back to the six. Naomi is now up is that four, four to, to one. one. Four to one over Jolly. And Naomi's shooting pretty good today, except for that one shot that I jinxed her on. April won her match. She will be playing for the hot seat next, right here. Playing against Tara Williams. So Taylor decided to just take the long shot on the six. Rather than trying to come with some hero shot to try to get down for, down closer to the six. Yeah, you sometimes you know you got to be willing to accept what the table is willing to give you, too, without putting yourself in jeopardy. And that's what she did there. Takes exp yeah. You may not always make you know that you know you leave yourself a harder shot. You're not always going to make it, but. But you gave yourself the opportunity to you know to continue, where and if you try to. Here it looks like Ca you know Cassie may choose to cut this in, but she can also just hit you know, hit the six, uh, you know, full bank it, bank it down table, leave the cue ball behind the seven. Let's see what she does. Kind of prefer the safety because it's it with a thin cut you're going up and down table, and you got to avoid the seven and the ten coming up and down table, which is hard to do. Yeah, and the seven ball is big for playing the safe. And we know she likes to play safe. She's done it a lot. And she's over rolled mm. it again. Well, mm. she hasn't she hasn't left too easy of a shot. That's Cross bank side shot. bank. And that's exactly where Taylor has called it. Can't tell from over here, but it looks like the Angle's pretty good for it. Just missed it just outside. Just a bit outside. Just a bit outside. And I think Cassie can follow this two rails around and avoid hitting the 10. Yeah, it looks like she can. Two rails around towards the 7 in the upper right corner. Okay, now just settle down and one ball at a time, girl. Don't worry about this. You know, you know what you what you got to put on it to get there. It looks like she's drawn it to the side rail. Is she going to end up behind the and 10? she's going to end up safe. Yeah. Got a little a love little there. A little love. Ain't nothing wrong with a little love. <laughs> Everybody gets it. So I saw... I think it was I saw Taylor. No, that was Brianna. Never mind. Brianna made it. Oh. She jumped over a ball closer than this uh, just last match, but she she made a hit but didn't make the ball. No. But she's got her jump cue out. Oh, well, you saw the one she drilled just, you know, I think the last time she pulled out her jump cue. She did. I well, think I she'd be tall enough to do this. I've got my other camera pointed at the other table so I can't switch camera angles. And she and drilled, she this drilled one. out, dude. Holy cow. Wow. wow. Slow down. That was a beautiful shot. Wow. Again. Then, you know, this actually isn't that bad because she can cue it the whole ball because it's in front of the pocket like this. She doesn't have to, you know, she can do whatever she wants with it. You want to see that again? Still can't see it. Still can't see it. As you can see, the six ball go rocketing into the hole. Wham. Nice shot. It spears a seven in like it's a hanger. <laughs> Yeah, 
these young ladies are uh, very impressive. Impressive, or downright scary. Yeah, and they're you know still teenagers. April and Taylor and mm -hmm. Brianna. Brianna. Well, Brianna, not well, not anymore, but yeah. Carson. Uh, what's her name? That was at the other one. That's not here. Can't remember her name right now. But yeah. And oh. she's missed it. Oh no. Oh no. After all of that, I mean, that was just um, the six ball. Was uh, any forget anything else? The six ball, up, and then to spear the seven afterward. All right, um, come on, Cassie. You can you can make this. Come on, girly. Put this one in. No, oh, she's missed. Oh no. Uh, brackets are online. You can find them at playnapt.com. That's playnorthamericanpooltour.com. Coming at you. So on the other table here, we have Naomi at the table now. Looking at the six ball, trying to get back up for the possible eight, nine on the side, or eight in the corner. And I guess, uh... Hmm. Yeah. On our main table, players are taking a quick break. Cassie's taking a break. Yeah, then I, I've never seen somebody do this, what she's doing right now. Yeah, go practice and it's, on another it's table. It's legal. She it's can legal, do this. Yeah. She's taking a break to go fire a few balls on another table. That is smart. Doesn't want to fire balls on... Uh, she's not allowed to. On the main table? She can't because she's the one taking a break. Really? Yeah. Interesting. That's what Chris just said. Interesting. So she can take a break and then go to another table, fire a few balls, and then come back to this table. But she can't do it on this main table. Yeah. Man, that Cassie is smart. She is a smart cookie. Not only cute, but smart, too. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. Yep. Taylor's kind of laughing <laughs> about it right now. Or laughing at, she's laughing about something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, it should, Cassie walked over and asked Chris first, you know, can I do this? And man, Cassie is firing balls in, isn't she? <laughs> yes, she is. Says she wants to get her arm loose. She wants to get a little bit of confidence in what she's doing. And this is a good way to do that. What strategy? Huh. All right. Naomi goes up five to one versus Bonnie. I think I said she was versus Jolly before, but I meant I, I, I was mistaken. That's uh, versus Bonnie. Yeah, Jolly was eliminated in uh, seventh place. So 5-1 Naomi versus Bonnie. Bonnie Arnold. Cassie is really a blonde. That is funny. <laughs> I happen to know this young woman. <laughs> Olive skinned, uh, blonde. Well, yeah, olive skin, dark, dark eyes, dark eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> she's definitely a blonde. <laughs> I know she is, is with uh, some things like she <laughs> is not mechanically inclined at all. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, now she's gonna go now wash up in the restroom and come back restroom, fresh. Splash some cold water on her face. Go freshen up. Uh, what was the entry fee? I don't remember what the entry fee is. Was it two fifty? Possibly. Yeah, it sounds like they're. Uh, yep. Um, 
talking about starting the uh, point match early instead of waiting to the 2 o'clock so we're not sitting here with nothing going on. Yeah, there's no reason to, to wait if both players are here and well, ready. there is because you're going to play the point match while the ma if the match for fourth isn't started yet. Hmm. Then right. you sit for how long waiting for a match? Right, gotcha. Yeah, point, yeah, so... Gotcha, yeah, there's no... Yeah, okay, I gotcha. Either way, you're going to have somebody waiting somewhere, and it's... Yeah, I don't know. Not my call. It's the tournament director's call. Mm -hmm. versus the tournament director. Um, and if yeah, the two players agree on it... Contrary to popular belief, we are not running this tournament. Yeah, no, we have... We're just the streamers. If Thanks for asking. <laughs> I, think, I think almost every player here has come up to us with their score sheets at least once. Yeah, <laughs> have questions. Can I do this? What about that? Um, am I allowed to do this? <laughs> and, and now I don't even say anything anymore. I just point at Chris. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> I think we should put have that. Uh, we should have just streaming instead of just dreaming <laughs> or something. Put on the back of our real bird shirts. All right, Cassie's back. Cassie's racking. Trying so to get we'll that stay. horse off of, we'll off stay of on her this, foot. We'll stay on this table until Cassie's ready to break. Yeah. She's trying to get that horse off her foot. Hmm. And hoping it takes Murphy with her with it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cassie with the break. <laughs> Blonde is a state of mind, not air color. <laughs> Daystream believers. <laughs> <laughs> they got funny people. <laughs> All right, so we have Taylor to the table. Cassie had a dry break. Yeah, almost looks like a like a drill with the balls all lined up on one side of the table. Yeah, as long as she can avoid this nine ball, she can come back out for the two in the corner. And and she's she's overcut it trying to do that. Yep. All right, here's your chance, Cassie. Got an easy shot to get started with. Mm -hmm. Come back and forth for the two. Can use some right spin. Come three rails around for the two. Okay, she's going option A, back and forth for the two. Mm-hmm. This is okay. She can bounce the rail and then back out for the three in the same for the same corner. Yeah, shoot for the gap between the ten six here. Yep. So this is okay. Just gotta make the two. Oh, oh I thought that was in. I did too. Yeah, uh, she's got back that you know a little bit of a pause. Yeah, she hit it nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, it just rattled. She put a good stroke on it. That was perfect on the three. Just yeah, just rattled that two. Stupid tight pockets. Good morning, Ford. Morning, Ford Z. We were wondering where you were, why you aren't here to come see us. All right. Rail first shot by Taylor, Is and it it's going to come, come out nice up? for the three. No, no it's going to go, go past this. Wait, wait, hold on, maybe. No, it's oh, beyond the six. That's not quite there. Yeah, I think she's hooked. She's kicking. I think I got to rotate this camera angle 180 degrees so it matches the other camera angle. Good, hit. Hit. Good leave. Cassie's just going to play safe.
Well, what if she banks the five back at her and... The three. Oh, the three. Yeah. You know, the, the three sometimes looks like a five. Yeah. Sometimes it looks a little bit orange. Especially if I'm looking at, I'm looking at it there. And the oh, on the overhead. Yeah. yeah. The colors are kind of wonky on the overhead. <laughs> All right. This is this gonna? Oh, this is gonna leave her a shot. Well, Left her a lot of distance. Yeah, cue ball's almost up on the end rail there. Giving her a tester. She says to avoid this 10 ball coming up. So she's avoided everything. Nice shot by Taylor there. Yeah, but now what? Uh, is that four going the side? Oh, well, it looks like it goes on the side. Now if she can, if she can avoid this. You know, if she can come off it. Uh, Look how straight those lines are. I think she can get through there. She has to avoid that eight, though. And the six on the way out. She's got to avoid some traffic. Uh, no, she oh, straightened it up. Just oh, that's a nice shot, too. Get, don't get behind that nine. Uh, and it's going to stop. It's it stopped. It stopped. I think she has enough of it to see it in the corner. She definitely has enough to cut it in the side if she wants a, a real thin cut. Yeah. And uh, Naomi is now on the hill. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the table right now, and yeah, she has enough of this to see it in the corner. Now she is too full. Trying to put it, caught it fat. And I think she let Cassie see it. I think Cassie can see this. Oh yeah, she can see it. She can just roll it in, come straight across, cue ball towards the 10 ball, six on the side. She hit it nice, came between that six, 10 nice, but eight ball jumped out there. She can bank the six ball back towards her, using the 10 ball as a blocker for safety, or she might try to cut this in. Oh, safe. Her usual ammo. Guess you played safe again. She did. Good girl. Safe right back at her. And did she get her? I think she can see it to cut it in. Real thin cut. Yes, he's getting down and squinting at it a couple times. Yeah, she was trying to cut it in. But is <coughs> not left. Uh, I don't think that six goes by the seven. It might. If it if it squeezes in there, this is gonna. It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. It might have room to go by the seven. It's it's like a third of a pocket, and I don't know that that what that equates to on a diamond table. Hmm. Are these are these four and a half inch pockets, or are they tighter than four and a half? They look like they're playing tighter than four and a half. Yeah, I have not checked them. Me neither. They definitely play like they're tighter than four and a half. Oh, 
Ooh. I mean, she's... Who? Oh, I'm like, who, who is she? April. I'm trying to remember who was on the point match and couldn't remember April for a second. Alright. Cassie is not going to go for this thin cut. Looks like she's going to thin off the six, trying to get the cue ball behind the seven, maybe. Or maybe even coming all the way around table, cue ball up table, and that's what she's doing. Cue ball up table. That's a nice shot. If she's gonna get by, she's gonna get behind that nine. Oh wow, so close. It's still not a pap leave though. But man, one more turn on that cue ball. Yeah. Taylor may just bank to six straight up table trying to trying to hold this cue ball up behind the seven and eight. Wow. Bonnie just yeah. that wasn't Bonnie, that was uh Naomi. Naomi just made the ten on the break over there. It's the first one I've seen. First time on the break. Yeah, I, I haven't seen any tens on the break. <laughs> Marty used to have hair like Cassie. Uh -oh. Back in the day. Is that going to get there? Yeah, no, there's, oh, there's no, uh, no windows anywhere near the table. The ones that are up front have uh, <laughs> blinds closed on them, BCAPL. Looks like uh, she can see the edge of the six. Looks like she's looking at cutting the six in the corner. It's a pretty aggressive shot. She's up five to nothing, so. And that's not gonna pan out for her. No. I right. think Cass I think Cassie will make the six ball here. All right, good opportunity for Cassie. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta get to that seven ball. If she has a little bit of, a if she has some angle on that six, she can follow down for the seven in the left corner. Yeah, that would be nice. Where all she just has to do is roll it in. And want it, she wants it to bounce off the rail. It looks like she has some angle. She tried to come a couple rails behind it. And She's okay though. Yeah, she just goes up in the corner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She can go out. That eight ball goes in any corner. Four shadows. Well, four shaft shadows. Well, there were. There's four lights on the up above the table. Yeah. Four four light bulbs in the light fixture. Mm-mm. I don't want to take them home. I don't need any more pets. All right. Nice, nice shooting. Last couple shots by Cassie. No, uh, Atticus, she wouldn't think Cassie was uh, nervous being on the stream if you'd have watched her match yesterday. Now yeah, she defeated da uh, Naomi Williams. Yep. She played. She played good. As is, she's just having a rough day. Her first yeah. match, she didn't get a lot of chance. Uh, Tara Williams uh, plays good, and then things just aren't rolling her way this way. She had three, or a couple, three times where she scratched once on a good kick, and then she gets on the board. Takes a little more of that pressure away. Can't be skunked now. All right, Cassie's on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, on the other table, Naomi is on the hill, six to one, and she is at the table. Looks like she's going to play the three in the side off to five. Mm. 
I don't think she really likes moving to five. She likes to find right where it is. Yeah. Alright, is that six gonna get in the way of the four? That six is gonna get in the way of the four. That's kinda <laughs> that's unlucky. Yeah, that is. Taylor's over here waiting for Naomi to shoot, so we'll just stay on Naomi. Alright, is she cutting this in the side, or is she just thinning off the four and sending the cue ball up table behind the nine ten? Cue ball up table behind the nine or the ten. And she's left the window. All right, back to our feature match. Okay, here goes Taylor with the break. So Taylor's been hitting them Wham. good. Oh, and there goes the cue oh, ball. Oh, no. Cue ball's gone. And All right, another. This is not a bad-looking layout. This is uh, another good chance for Cassie to... Yeah, the hardest thing is where that one ball is, but you're starting with ball in hand. Yeah, and the two balls hanging in the pocket, three's hanging in the other pocket. Yep. Four is right by the cube where the one ball is. Three to f three to the four is not too bad once the one and the two are gone. Yeah, it goes past the five, it goes every, uh, the four goes in every hole. So, so yeah, just gotta just gotta make this one or maybe even shoot the one four combination just to get rid of that. Yeah, well the one the one goes up in the corner over there past this what is it, the seven on the rail. Yeah, it's just one less thing to worry about. Those balls in the center of the table seem to be hard to play position on for well, some reason. They are, because they're away from the pockets. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest ball to play position on is a ball that's out in the middle of the table. Seems to be. I heard that somewhere. Mm -hmm. Saw it on a video or something. Maybe I read it. Was mm -hmm. it on the internet? <laughs> well, if, it's, if you read it on the internet, it's got to be true. Because you know they're not allowed to put things on the internet if they're not true. I think I saw it on Wikipedia. Is Cassie <laughs> is Cassie playing safe behind the four? Or is she I cutting the one in the I corner? I think she's cutting the one on the side. Maybe it goes in the side. She's, no, she's playing, playing safe. safe. She's going for a three foul. Don't go in. Don't hang up. It's going to be hard to get a three foul yeah. from there. And that's, uh, with it being right in the hole like that, the one thing, you know, we know where the holes are. Yeah, we can we can, we we can, can find the holes. Yeah, we can send a cue ball towards the hole and... Having that three ball there makes that. Yeah. Taylor's looking at uh, uh, coming at this two rails and having the one go in, off, rub in off of the three so that the cue ball will come out behind the eight for a shot on the two. Now, oh, Ramil says he saw it on an infomercial. Must have been with that Billy Mays oh, guy. Oh, how did that one not how go does that in? that not fall? There's trolls living in the pockets. <laughs> That's got to be that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that ball did not go. I mean... You can't hit it any better than that. Can you? Uh, apparently. A skosh. A smidge. Yeah, that played like a four and a quarter inch. <laughs> yeah, that, that 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 acted like it was tighter than four and a half. Whoa, Stop. whoa, whoa, whoa. Is she hooked? You're looking oh straight man. down on it. She's hooked, ain't she? I can't tell, but I think she might be. Uh, the way she just kind of barely bumped the butt of her cue on the floor, she's hooked. This might be a time for her to pull out her jump cue. Pretty easy kick, though, isn't it? Yeah, rail first isn't that hard, or maybe she's a dual she's swerve. swerving it. A little swerve, that's not bad a little either. Swervy. She knows how to mass A. We saw her make one of those yesterday. Yep. Yeah, it looks like she's going rail first, but I think she's aiming too far down the rail. Yeah, there you go, that looks better. Oh, I don't like kicking to the side. I'd rather pull out the jump cue than <laughs> try anything like that. 
four and three eighths. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere right between. <laughs> of course, there's always that one guy. And uh, Naomi Williams wins that match, seven to one. She will be awaiting the winner of this match. Oh, that's not a bad shot by Cassie. Tie up that Taylor seven uh, or Cassie. Yeah, that was Cassie. Yeah, tie up that that s that nine ball seven and nine seven. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. For the breakout, I think she can do it from the three. Three ball, two rails behind there, and try to come out with a shot with the four afterwards. Yeah. Or maybe even play the seven nine combo down in the corner if they're lined up. Bounce out. Well, she so. definitely has angle to run into him now. Yep. Uh, but you want to hit the, you know, just rub the seven on the way out to push the nine out so that you don't get yeah, stuck yeah, in the last there. Thing, yeah, you don't want to get stuck behind the seven here, so. Yeah, you definitely got to hit it on the way out, two rails. Going Actually, going straight at it, one rail, you may not get hooked, but yeah, I'd want to rub it on the way out of the sec with the second rail. Like right. Kind of like that? Kind of like that. And she's perfectly straight <laughs> in on the four. <laughs> that was a pretty, pretty nice shot. She made me look good there. <laughs> I can't even buy her a drink for it. <laughs> <laughs> buy her a root beer. <laughs> Corn dog. A nice speed. I think yeah. it just stopped. Yeah, I think she can shoot a stop shot for the six in the same pocket or even roll Doesn't forward for the for the six down in the corner. Yeah, I think Look just stop shot. Looks like she's doing a stop shot or close to it. Yeah, seven balls right there on the same rail, eight ball across from it. Yep. So she'll pro if she's will probably stop short of the seven to be able to just go to the end rail and back out for the eight rather and that takes the oh don't listen to me. I say that takes the nine ball out of play, makes getting over there rather easy. <laughs> She's like, I'm done making you look good. That's all you get. That's all you get. You got one out of boy <laughs> <laughs> or out of girl. <laughs> well, she has angle to come across for the nine. <laughs> yeah. And then some. Did she run? Did she hit the nine? I didn't see the shot. No. A little bit of right spin to go this side of the side pocket. And don't uh, don't get on top of the ten. Mm. She's on top of the ten. Yeah, but she's a righty, isn't she? So that means she gets to sh bridge off to the side of it at least. Um, probably not. Not with the angle she has to shoot at the nine. Ramil says you're a one call wonder. Yeah. Like one, <laughs> and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. Make one call, one one at a time. One at a time, you know it. Nice shot. All right, now make another nice <coughs> shot. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Naomi Williams over there trying to stay in stroke. She was hitting him pretty good back there. She figured out whatever it was. Yeah, she's definitely not shooting anything pocket speed. She's rocketing balls in the hole. Yeah. Oh, that wiped its feet, and that's not going to scratch. So nope. nice nice couple shots there by Taylor. Six out. one, and it is Cassie's break. Way to go, Team Hansen. Speaking of, I haven't seen Team Hansen say anything. They're probably still sleeping. I doubt it. Not if their girl's <laughs> in here playing. Thank you guys for tuning in today. It's the final day of this three-day tournament. 
down to the final six players, are we? Uh, we are down. We're about to be down to the final four. So do we have five now? We are at five, yes. We're, we're down to the final five. Up. Yeah, we got the point match. And the match for fourth going to be going on here after this is over. I'll All take right. a short break when, uh, if there's time. We'll take a short break, and I think they want to get busy as soon as possible and not wait for anything. Yeah, we want to get the show on the road. Don't want to just stand around waiting. Get matches up as quick as possible. Yeah. <coughs> yes, JP is uh, awesome at that. At that's catching that facial expressions. That's that one guy you showed me his uh, yeah. work. Yeah, he's the pool photographer. Yeah. Well known in the pool photography world. <laughs> yeah, he's. Uh, he does excellent work. Yes, he does. And Sandra Mensel does good work too. Yes, he does. And 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 that Kevin Ross. He he's takes all, some he's all right. pictures. He's too. all right too. Is that two gonna roll in there? No. No, it did not. A, She's got a, a shot. shot to the upper right corner. Yep. Two ball two. on the side right afterwards. Yep. Whack from Naomi over there on the break. Whacked him good. And Jerry says, uh, shout, and Jerry Ring says, shout out to NAPT and Shooters Grays Lake for putting this on. Yep, it's it's nice to have some more uh, tournaments coming back to pool. All right, here we go. Taylor with the shot to the corner. Just missed it. Hasn't left uh, much for Cassie other than a safety. Yeah, brush off that uh, right side of the one. Let yeah. it brush the three and just hit the cue ball to the rail. She could then one and even bring the cue ball down this side of the two and depends how she may just just touch it. Hey, Astro <laughs> Kevin <laughs> likes astrophotography. <laughs> if you're talking about photographing the Milky Way. All right, so, uh, Cassie played safe, but she went about it uh, a different way. Let's let Taylor see the ball. Yeah, playing safe behind the deuce. No. Nope. Behind the six, behind even better. Behind the six. Nice shot, young lady. Did it get far enough behind the six to take out the side pot, the side rail? Yeah. Ride the cheese. Yeah, well, men's attorneys could learn something from that. Well, a funny thing you say that is uh, the NAPT is not just about doing women's events. They plan on, they want to eventually be putting on men's tournaments, junior events amateur events pro events everything not just these you know women pro tournaments that the first two are oh is she gonna get some love here did she no she can see it she's got it clear to the pot corner it goes straight up in the corner wow that's pretty close shot but came up a little bit short on this too so the key ball's gonna be going the wrong way for the three she's gonna have to go to that side rail and back across again so gonna have to really come with a stroke I 
it's just got to... Nope, just doesn't like safe. it. Just playing safe. Yeah, cue ball was moving completely away from the three. All kinds of traffic to try to get through there and <coughs> you know, not letting didn't, her breathe. Yeah, didn't like it. Not, not going to play the sellout. We're not pushing all in yet. <coughs> yeah, she's up 6-1. She doesn't have to go for a hero shot. Nope. Cassie's gone for safe and came up short. All right, that is the it's the four ball down here by the bottom right corner. So, two ball not a problem. She has to make sure she can see around the five ball for the three. Yeah, that's what she was just looking at. So, does she want to go forward or back? Is what she's looking at now. You know, coming back makes the three a little bit easier, but, but, gives it extra, but it makes it harder to get to the four. And now she's looking at playing safe and banking the deuce up table and putting the cue ball up behind the 10-7. Uh, yeah, ten ten seven. Seven. And uh. caught the double kiss. <coughs> well, Ramiro, you'll have to talk to... Uh, Adrienne about those men's amateur events when she gets back in town. Okay. Casey probably just gonna knock this two ball up to the end rail. Probably try to leave the two ball behind the five. And that's exactly what she's doing. And, and it's come out. And it's come she out. She wants it to get up towards the end rail. So Taylor could try. Could she, she could try to cut this in. She could play safe. She has options. Two to the three is not easy. You know, bottom left uh, is too much traffic. Uh, high right. Uh, you know. Gotta make sure you don't scratch in this bottom right corner down here. Yeah, absolutely. So make two sure you don't scratch. Yeah, two of the three is. It's, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a challenge. It's a little problematical. Look at that. And is she gonna bump the seven? Oh no, uh, it bumped it, but I don't know if she can still see it. That's yeah, pretty close. I think she can see it, but I don't think she can see it to make it. Oh. And she's, she's shooting at it. Oh, just... Rocked it to sleep, right. as you like to say. Rocked it to sleep. I don't know where I stole that one from. That was from one of them old school commentators, too. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> All of those old AccuStat videos we used to watch. <laughs> Back before Al Gore invented the internet. Yeah. We're looking forward to the Eclipse here next year, too, BCAPL. I think we might have to go down to Kevin's sister's house down in um, Tennessee. Yes, that is correct. That was where we were planning on going to see it. Uh, is the bracket not online at playnapt.com anymore? I don't know. Is it not? Let me double check that. We have not checked that this morning. I go to another place to get it because I know for sure that it's there. Nope, it's there. It's not up to date, though. Did you not refresh the page? I'm refreshing. Hold on. Let me just try again. Hmm. It's there. There and we go. Now I refreshed. It is there and up to date. 
Yeah, playnapt.com and click on the link that says brackets. All right, Taylor's uh, five balls away from uh, being guaranteed third, and, or no, fourth. This is not the point match. Moving on and continuing. What is uh, what's the difference in the payout here? Let me pull. I, oh, I got I the bracket just, right here. I was just looking at that. I got the bracket right here. Well, fourth gets uh, was fourth get. Fourth gets fourteen hundred dollars. The fifth six is a thousand to so the four hundred dollar. This is a four hundred dollar match. And plus, you still have the ability to go on and win more, so it's worth even more than that. All right, now, Taylor's looking at a uh, billiard on the 10. I don't think this is really on, is it? I think she's yeah. just going to play safe on the 7. I mean, yeah, she's just trying to see where the line is to roll the cue ball up into the 10 when she pushes the 7 to the rail, I think is what she was looking at, and not necessarily not the billiard. Oh, maybe she was playing the billiard. She hit that kind of hard. It looked to me like she was playing the billiard. Yeah. I didn't see her call it, but it looked like she was playing it. Yeah, well, and she would, you know, she wouldn't have called it. She would have, I mean, wouldn't have pointed. She would have said it because that's what she did the other day <laughs> when there was a question on, you know, somebody didn't see some or call something. All right, another safety for Cassie. Knock the seven up to the rail, keep ball over. Oh. Oh, left a thin cut for Taylor. Yeah, it's just let it you know, go back and forth. It's automatic shape on the eight here. Mm -hmm. Or a center ball hit. If I don't yeah, just up and down. Uh, Tara uh, will be playing the point match on this on the live stream next. That's how Tara mm. did. Ball's gonna bounce, and it's bounced. Yeah, she's got a shot. She's gonna have to come. Yeah, you yeah, think she's, she's gonna come low of the nine? Yeah, come back around around the table for the nine in the same corner as the eight. Is that what you're thinking, or something else? Huh. Shooting the eight in the corner and coming low, three rails lower yeah, than so nine. Yes. Yeah. So the nine in the same pocket as you. Yes. Yeah. It looks like she's putting some inside on this, trying to straighten it up. Yeah, she was. She, she put a lot on it. Look how far it came over. And has not left anything for Cassie again. Yes. April is still undefeated. It's going to be April Larson and Tara Williams in the in the uh, point match, hot seat match. Winter side finals, what have you. Yep. So, Cassie's going to get tired of playing safe and just go for a shot <laughs> one of these times. I don't think she is. All right, so where do you play safe here then? Just mm -hmm. eight on the side rail, nine on the uh, cable on the other side rail? Yeah, so she's trying. That's, that's fine. Okay. It's better than overhitting it and leaving it straight in the corner, like, you know, happens a lot with those shots. So she left her thin cut to the corner. Cue ball's going to be going up table, so if she can hit it soft enough so that the uh, cue ball just lands on that side rail for the eight down in the corner, that would be, that'd be good. For the nine. For the nine, yep. Yeah. She's overcut, overcut it. it. All right. All right, Cassie. Cassie's got a chance to get another one. All right, Cassie's patience uh, has paid off there. She got her a shot. Yep. I think rail first on this would probably get her over to that nine ball pretty nice. Mm. Got a little loud. 
it does that from time to time. Different songs are... Oh, she hit that nice. Nice little rail first. That's perfect. Yep. Oh, look at that. April's out there playing pool with some of the locals. Isn't that sweet? Hmm. Nice shot. All right. Stay with it. Send it home. Send that 10 ball to be with its friends. Yep, there you go. Call it. Make sure she knows where you're shooting it. <laughs> it's in. Nice shot, Cassie. Nice shot, Cassie. All right. Okay. Another game for Cassie. Up. Yep. Or trailing. Two six. games to six. Yep. And uh, it's now Taylor's break. And I'll be right back. I'll be right here. With all my friends. Just going to hang out here with all my friends watching uh, watching some pool. Thank you guys for tuning in. Glad to see you guys back again. Hope you're enjoying this final day of this three-day tournament. All right, Taylor's break. Oh, that cue Ooh, that cue ball was heading that way. And made a ball, but she can see the one. Can't do much with it except play safe. Maybe thin off of this right-hand side of the one, keep ball to the end rail, and then back up behind the four, possibly. Or maybe maybe shoot it softer than that, just where the one ball drifts over to the left of those three balls, and the cue ball just dribbles down to this bottom rail. Oh, she has something else in mind. She was trying to get behind those. She was trying to get that cue ball behind those. Uh, those ten, ten, nine, two. So Cassie has a look at this. Nothing to shoot at except the safety. She's just gonna thin off the right side of the one, knocking the one ball towards the side pocket. Oh, she. Hit it fuller than I was thinking. I was thinking she was going to thin off the cue ball back over to the other side of the table. So Taylor does. Looks like she has a shot to the side. Holding this ball for a shot on the two is going to be difficult, and she's done not too badly with that. Cue ball is kind of on the wrong side of the two. Cue ball is going to be going away from the three. She can draw to the side rail and back out. And here she's probably going to play safe, probably bank the three ball down table towards the nine. Cue ball over behind the six. She might have something else in mind. She just pointed her cue, pointed her cue stick down here at this end of the table, so I think she's going to cut this three in, and she's looking at where this cue ball is coming. And I think she is. I think she just called that three ball. And there's a lot of balls to run interference should she miss it. But she did not miss it.
but is not really rewarded with a shot on the four. He has a cut to the side. Which he might go for. Schmee rolled a four ball up to the end rail, try to get the cue ball behind the eight. Oh, look at this. I thought that cue ball was going to get right behind that seven. Just leaked out. Can Cassie see enough of it to make it? I know she can see enough of it to hit it. Stay out of there, cue ball. That would have been a nice safety if that cue ball would have stayed out of there. Unfortunately, this is laying really nice for Taylor. I don't think Cassie's going to come back to the table. Two, six, seven are all, I mean, uh, the four, six, seven are all together there. Eight ball by the side gives easy access to the nine ball. And the ten's right there. This is not looking good for Cassie. But the game's not over yet. Not till that final ten ball falls. Never know. Anything can happen. Looking to come in two rails around for the eight in the side. Maybe even using the third rail. Although that shot is a little bit harder to shoot with the with the bridge. Using the bridge, she may just roll it in for the position on the eight in the corner instead. And that's what she's doing. She's got, uh, she got good in this eight ball. She got angle to follow it and bump off the rail for the nine, or just pull it back for the nine in the other corner. Just drop back a few, in couple inches, or shoot a stop shot. Yeah, I mean, she would like to have been straight in, but now she's gonna have to go to the rail. So, yeah, it's a decision. Do you want to try to follow forward? So yeah, I think she's going to try to follow forward to the 9 on the side. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, that's perfect. That's just to roll it in and straight in on the 10 ball afterwards. And barring a uh, power failure or a tornado strike, uh, I think uh, this is going to be Taylor's match. No, there could be a tornado strike. There was tornado in Michigan yesterday. I think it's making its way over to Chicago area. She decided to stroke it and... Yeah, she didn't want to just roll it in. <laughs> no, she's got you know, that adrenaline going right now. Mm -hmm. About to win, go continue on in the tournament. Nice. Another one in the books for Team Hanson. Congratulations to Cassie Francois, finishing fifth in her first pro event. 
Congratulations, Cassie. And we'll be right back with your point match. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 